an electron enters uh, an E field, E is equal to, let's say it's equal to 2i hat minus 3j hat millinewtons per coulomb. So in this case, I've already given you the E field. You don't have to find it or you don't have to solve for it. Uh, then, so an electron enters an E field with uh, initial velocity So the, the velocity of the electron is negative 3 i hat plus 4 j hat times 10 to the fourth meter per second. So an electron enters an E field given by that equation with initial velocity given by this uh, equation. And then the location where it enters it, its initial position, So let's say its initial position is 1, 1 meters. So what I want to know is where will it be in, let's say, uh, 2 milliseconds. So we could treat this exactly like we would projectile motion problem. Find the acceleration in the x direction, find the acceleration in the y direction, treat the x and the y independently, and then apply the kinematics equations. Where will it be in two milliseconds? Milliseconds, yeah. Because this thing is going pretty fast, so in two milliseconds, it's already going to be whew, way down the line somewhere, right? So uh, we can kind of do a qualitative thing. First, see where if we can predict the answer. The E field is uh, 2i hat minus 3j hat, so something like this. 2 and negative 3. And we're assuming all of this space is permeated with this E field, right? So it's uh, everywhere. So I'm assuming the E field is permeating the space and it's constant. The E field is constant. If it's changing, then it's a, it's a little harder problem, right? But if it's constant, we can use the equations of constant acceleration. So the particle enters it right here, 1, 1. Right here, it enters the region and uh, its uh, initial velocity is negative 3 and 4, so it's going this way. Negative 3, 4, OK? So how, what do you think its path is going to look like, OK? Uh, Generally speaking, it likes to go uh, uh, it likes to go in the same direction as the E or opposite to the E. Opposite. opposite. So it likes to go ev eventually, uh, basically, it wants to align itself so that it's perfectly opposite to the E. That's its eventual goal, right? It wants to perfectly align. So I think it should look something like this. So initially, it's got some velocity in this direction, 
Okay. Uh, so uh, this is the e. So it initially, it's got some velocity in this direction. That velocity, uh, let's see here. This velocity is going to keep. So this velocity is going to keep increasing. This velocity. Say, ah, this velocity is not affected. Or remember what I was saying: the perpendicular component of the velocity is not affected. So this velocity is not affected. Well, it's only the parallel component of the velocity that's affected. So it should be this way. It should just keep going like that. But it should, this component of the velocity should grow. So by the time it gets here, it's got the same perpendicular component of velocity, but the parallel component has grown. right? So the velocity looks more like that. So its path looks like that. You see? That's what I predict its path is going to look like. Like that. So it's going to be, in two milliseconds, it's going to be somewhere about here. Something like that, I predict. OK? So now, now I could find the a, x component of the acceleration, the y component. And uh, I could say ax is equal to q e x over m. And then ay is going to be q e y over m. So we can find each one separately. So the charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. The electric field in the x direction is the 2 times millinewtons, so 2 times 10 to the minus 3. Over the mass of an electron, which is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilogram. OK? So uh, that gives me the x component. So calculate that, tell me what you get, and then we'll do the y component. This is going to be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. <coughs> or oh, we could put actually negative 1.6, right? So this one should be negative, and then this one should be negative. And then the y component of the electric field is negative 3 times 10 to the minus 3. Divided by 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. So the two negatives make a positive. OK, so tell me here what you get in, for each of those. going to be a big acceleration. OK, what's the first one? Eight meters per second squared. OK, and uh, the AY is going to be, so it should be about one and a half times that, huh? Okay. 